Well, let me just say, and I want to actually show you that the religious side, the rock art on the hills, were deeply connected up with what we will see on the bay. It was about the Shango religion. The exile from St. Vincent of the Garifuna people was the fact that they would not accept Christianity. They wanted to hold on to their African roots and tradition. Christianity was for them the religion of slavery. You know, <laughs> they had their own religion and their own religious practice. They worship the sky, thunder, lightning, the sea, the volcano. And let me, let me actually stress you now, why the, the rock art was placed up on the hill? Because it was facing the volcano. The volcano represents thunder, lightning, fire. For instance, in Christian tradition, fire is seen with hell. That was... <laughs> That was against the whole religious concept of Shango and the Garifuna people. Fire was something they worshipped. It's something that brought heat and so on and comfort. Cleansing. And cleansing. It wasn't about hell. This concept had nothing to do with, 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 with their religious vision. So is that connected to the yearly pilgrimage that people from that oh, world make? Oh, Well, brother, I'm glad you actually bring that in. Because every Easter Monday, and since I was a child, maybe at, at say, seven, eight, and it continued up to today, there is a religious practice where people journey to the mountain, that goes back to our Shango roots, our Garifuna roots. Okay? The, that annual pilgrimage on Easter Monday where everybody would wake up maybe around 3, 1, depends on how fit you are, and journey up to the mountain just to, 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 to see the crater lake at dawn. That was highly significant. And that's all linked with the, the 13 stones, corner bay, and the rock art and the shango practice. And it's linked with the exile. So what's spiritual baptist? Well, sp spiritual baptist came in as a compromise. And the history of spiritual baptist come out of Holland where you had the Anabaptists and the Shakers. That didn't come from Sir Britain, okay? But um, obviously, they had to modify the Shango, but elements of the Shango is within the spiritual Baptist. I know a lot of spiritual Baptists will tell you, you know, um, we don't have nothing to do with Shango because of the way the white men see the shango as with the drums, with the heartbeat, with the pulse beat, and that. But that was what the um, the white man feared, the beating of the drums and the power of the drums. Okay, but they believed that the drums had a lot of power, which it did, because the pop, the drum could mimic the heartbeat. Okay, so if you don't get that right, you know, it could mess you up.